That's a tough question. There were challenges along the way. You're aware it's been a very long process over the years. I think as we saw in the debate, particularly on products and services, the challenge was reassuring all operators that their interests were protected, that we were opening possibilities that would benefit everyone. And we didn't, weren't able to reassure everyone, so that's why we went to a vote. But I think the overwhelming result, you know, I think an outcome where the vote in favor was 91 to 14 shows that we got through to, to most of the audience. And I think our challenge over the next two years will, through the process, to continue to work to reassure the others. I think it's an important first step to further deepen the, um, the cooperation with wider sector players, particularly on products and services, which, I mean, all three work streams were important, but that, I think, is the key one, because we're talk we've talked quite a bit about the declines in post volumes that, are, that have occurred in recent years. And so uh, I think the outcome on products and services will open new possibilities for cooperation. Uh, to build on things that are already happening commercially in the market and hopefully enable a broader range of UPU operators to benefit from them. Um, I think the key is really we hope to see a more integrated uh, postal and delivery network where there is greater chances for cooperation between both public and private operators. So there will be synergies that will be be developed to the benefit of everyone and ultimately, of course, to the benefit of consumers and citizens who use all our services. So that, I think, is the big outcome that we will see, hopefully, in years to come. Um, if I can say one final word, um, there are some who say it's a modest step, but I think it's an important step because the first step is the most important. Once you've crossed the threshold, then hopefully you enter on a glide path where you can look at new possibilities in the future.